Christine Cross, and welcome to my bedroom. I wanna share some tips with you about bondage. So I have been a lifestyle and professional dominatrix for about 10 years, and there is so much to do about bondage. What is it? Who likes it? Everyone! All right, so what is bondage? Bondage is any time you're getting restrained. You can use different kinds of restraints like rope, cuffs, handcuffs, pantyhose, saran wrap. All of those are totally acceptable ways to tie somebody up. So why do people like getting tied up? Well, for some people, they love being in control. Other people love not being in control. For some people, it has nothing to do with like a dom-sub relationship. They just enjoy being tied up. So they might feel very secure in this role. It feels like a hug to them. So what can you tie up? Well, pretty much anything. You can tie things together. You can tie things apart. You can tie body parts to different things like a bed post. Before you start tying somebody up, there are just three things that I need you to know. And they're very, very important. Don't leave anyone tied up and alone. Don't put rope around someone's neck and make sure that you have at least one finger in between the rope and the body part to avoid cutting off circulation. Now that you've got that, and you also have the enthusiastic yes from your partner to either get tied up or to tie them up, let's talk about some rope. This is the rope that Yandy has. This is a nice black rope. They have it in a few other colors as well. This is a cotton rope. So that means it's gonna be really easy to clean. So now you have this rope. Before you even start tying someone up with this rope, feel it in your hands and run it over their body. Get them excited about this rope. It is very sensual. You can do things where you're holding it against somebody's body. You're not tying them up. You can, you can hold it on their neck. You're not gonna be tying up their neck. You're not gonna be doing this too hard. You can put this around their torso, around their stomach, just kind of using different uh, strengths and tightnesses around their body to get someone in the mood before you even tie them up. Rope is really intimidating for people. And I, I'm here to tell you that you just have to practice with it but the more that you practice with it, the easier it's going to be for you. But this is something that does take some time, it does take some practice, but for today, I just wanted to show you a really, really easy tie. It actually doesn't involve any knots. So what you're going to do is first line up the ends of the rope here. This is also called the ends or the working ends. Then you're going to find the middle. This is also known as the bite or the bend, but we can just call it the middle. So now that we have this in the middle here, you're gonna go about maybe this long. See, this. You're gonna grab it here, separate it, and now you're gonna twist it. You're gonna twist it once, twice. Only about twice is good. You have this loop here. And you see how that's twisted? No ties, no knots. You just have a loop right here. And then you can put an arm or a hand right through here. See? And now you can hold this. So now you have this. Now, I obviously, because I only have two hands, <laughs> I, and I have to hold this somehow, um, I'm just putting one hand through here. You can also put two hands through here. This is a really great, easy, simple tie for people because you know what? I can hold this and I feel really secure. This is very nice. This is also never going to get too tight because remember my rule, you want to have space in between the rope and your body part, but I can hold this. Now with this end, if you wanted to tie this off, you could. You could also have your partner just hold this. You don't have to necessarily have something tied off to something. I mean, it's very fun that way as well, but this is a really acceptable way to just do it like this. So you're holding it. Really easy to get out of, and there you go.
Again, this is Mistress Justine Cross, and thank you for listening and watching to Bondage 101 with Yandy. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this YouTube channel with Yandy.com. And if you want more of me, you better go to the curated page so you can find all my delicious sexy outfits. Do you want to learn more bondage tips and tricks? Talk to me, email me, and let me know more of what you would like to see on this channel because I can't wait to teach you. Bye. Checking in. Hey guys, it's Anastasia Nova. <laughs> hey YouTube, it's Anastasia Nova, and if we left you satisfied, check out our channel. Don't forget to subscribe.